Hey there guys, T-Shirt Booth here for GSHelper.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to um, take a drawing system and add a certain amount of ink to it. Um, I'm not going to go into how to make the drawing system. Uh, most people are using Orbs Demo, which is a great demo. Um, but a lot of people have asked, you know, how do you set up, you know, a display that shows how much ink you have and it can only draw a line if you have ink available. So I'm going to show you that right now. Um, so the first thing you want to do is go into Game Salad and in the filter hit Drawer, D-R-A-W-E-R. -E and then you'll get Orbs Drawing Template. You're going to open that up. We'll make that full screen. We're going to go into the scene and go into the initial scene. Let's just delete this top bar and we'll delete this ball because we don't need those. So I'm going to hit preview and you'll see we can draw as much as we want as long as we want. But we want to limit that. We want to limit how much the player can draw. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new actor here and we'll call this ink. Now I'm going to drag it onto the scene here. I'm just going to about there. And we're going to create an attribute. I'm going to hit the plus sign. And I'm going to go with a real attribute because we're dealing with uh, decimal points. And we're going to call that ink. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to tell the lines to add to the ink. So we're going to go into the segments here and we're going to create a rule and an attribute. So on the left hand side hit attribute and we're going to use a boolean because it's going to be a yes or no. And we're going to call this active. We're going to hit it true and we're going to say when mouse button is up now this will also work for touch so when touch is up it'll work. Hit a plus sign, and we're going to say attribute, game, or sorry, self, dot active is true. We're going to change attribute, game, dot ink, to game, dot ink, plus self, size, width. So we can keep track of how long each of our segments are. We're going to hit OK. And then we're going to do a change attribute. And we're going to change self active to false. So that way this line will no longer add when the mouse button is up. Now I've already played with some numbers here. So I want to give the player 1500 units of ink. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the pen system and it says when mouse button is down. We're going to do when mouse button is down and attribute game ink is equal or less than 1500. So once it's more than 50 or 1500 it, it will stop drawing. The user can no longer draw a line. We're going to hit back, and I'm going to go into our ink line here, and I'm just going to make that a little thinner, so I'm going to go maybe 10. Now, we want to do a couple things here. We want to constrain this to the left-hand side, and we also want to constrain it to how much ink there is. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the ink, and we're going to put a constrain attribute. And we're going to constrain self position x, because x is left and right, to, and I want it to be about 10 pixels from the edge, so I'm going to put 10. If you want it more, you put more. If you want less, you put less. Plus, open bracket, self size width divided by 2. And what this will do is it will constantly keep the, the bar to the left hand side of the screen. Now what we're going to do is grab another constraint attribute and we're going to put it in here and we're going to constrain self size width to now the um, 
the bar is 450 pixels long. I've already tested that. That's how much how that's how long my bar is. You can make your bar whatever you want. The math will be the same. But mine is 450 pixels, so I'm going to put 450. And I'm going to go minus open bracket and we're going to go game dot ink divided by 3.33 close bracket. Now here's the math for this. Um, I want 1500 units of ink so I, div I divide 1500 divided by 450 gives me 3.33. So if you had 2000 units of ink you'd do 2000 divided by 450 and that would tell you what to divide by. Okay so whatever your total ink they want divided by how long your bar is gives you this number here okay I'm gonna hit OK now I'm gonna show you something and it's gonna look odd um, hopefully you see it and then I'm gonna show you how to fix it because a lot of people might make this mistake so I'm gonna hit preview and now you'll see when I draw this line now if you notice up here in this top corner here it, it's kind of jumping I'm gonna show you how to fix that right now but you'll notice once we run out of ink I can no longer draw a line anymore so we're gonna head back and I'm gonna show you you always want to have the constrain self position X underneath that rule there. So now when I hit preview, you'll see it's no longer jumping on this side. So it looks much smoother. And again, you run out of ink. That's it. So it's as simple as that. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, head on over to gshelper.com. You can download this file for free um, so you can see my work, see what you're doing, and uh, give it a go. And I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you in the next video.